All right, everybody, we're diving back into Destiny 2, and as you can see, I am almost finished with the Hush Little Baby quest, which awards the Hush Pinnacle Bow. This has been a long grind. It's been very tedious, very stressful. I can't even really see straight anymore because I've done so much gambit over the last few days, but we're in the home stretch now, and I'm ready to kick some ass and get these final 7% worth of medals completed. Last time we were playing as the Attunement of Control Warlock, this time we've shifted around and we are using the Code of the Missile Striker Titan. I've got the same bow that I had last time, the No Turning Back Kinetic Precision Frame Bow, using Explosive Head, Hipfire Grip, and Minor Spec. For the Energy Weapon this time, we are using the Loaded Question instead of the Yotun, so switching fusion rifles around. I enjoy the Loaded Question a lot, the Reservoir Burst perk is very exciting. If you kill one ad that's surrounded by a bunch of other ads, they all go kaboom, and it is truly glorious. Though it does struggle a little bit against blockers, especially the shielded blockers, which I believe are the 10 point blockers, because the shield element doesn't match perfectly and it can be difficult to get rid of them, but that's okay, we shouldn't have too many struggles. And we're bringing back the Outrageous Fortune Grenade Launcher. We've got field prep for an additional shot in the reserves, and we get a faster reload when we are crouched. And we also have spike grenades to increase our damage output even further, in addition to a boss spec mod. For exotic armor, there's not really all that much choice when you're playing the Code of the Missile. The insurmountable Skull Fort is the only truly viable option. This allows arc melee kills to grant health and melee energy. If I kill an enemy with my Ballistic Slam melee ability, it will refresh the ability and I get to use it again. Cool thing about Ballistic Slam is hits with it grant additional super energy. So if I'm able to spam this thing, I'll get my super very frequently and I will be able to clear adds at a ridiculous pace and that should give us an edge in the matches. So let's get out there and get this last 7% over and done with. Okay, first match is going pretty well, but our plate is getting flooded with blockers because we took such a huge lead over the enemy team that now they have the ability to just roam around, collect moats, and then send the biggest and baddest blockers that they can. So things could get a little bit frustrating. I'm trying to hold on to my super so that I can use that to clear the plate when we all need to just gather together to do some damage. And I did get a glimpse of the invader. I can't really safely peek him, but he did move positions from this distance there's not all that much I can do to where is he? there he is got him uh, if he was looking at me with a machine gun though the, the, there was there's really no hope of me killing him because of the overshield it takes I think three headshots or two headshots and one body shot to kill an invader and I'm gonna go in and miss the mark a little bit with that with that super, I was trying to kind of go over that guy's head and then land right in the middle so I could clear all the ads out at the same time, but I'm playing a little bit poorly right now, I'm not going to lie, because I've been probably playing too much lately, and I'm, I'm, I'm in a weird autopilot state that is not allowing me to be super sharp. Okay. We got the win, but that match was a little bit grueling. My gosh, that was a frustrating match. All right, let's, let's see how much progress we got, because at this point, I don't want to stay in Gambit a second longer than I have to. Okay, we're at 95%, so that it was a good match, even though I was super-duper stressed while going through it. I wound up doing a, a pretty hefty amount of primeval damage there. I got 582,000. That's, that's pretty nice. But uh, let's, not, let's not get too comfortable. This next match, I want to I wanted show you guys what I'm truly capable of. I want to ascend to my final form. So let's do it. Man, f I'm so tired of this. I just want to get my bow and never come back to this dreadful game mode ever again. If you like Gambit, that's fine. You're allowed to like what you want to like, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, and it's driving me completely insane. Oh my god. The enemy team already has 100 points, and we only have 15. <sighs> okay, we're doing it. I'm rushing in, I'm gonna use Ballistic Slam, and these Cabal are gonna get destroyed. Feels good. Now that I've completed the kills with bows portion of the quest, I feel a little bit more free 
to go in and just be reckless and wild. And that does feel nice. Allows me to more aggressively support my team by getting a lot of kills. And eventually generating some, some nice orbs once I get my super. I should have my super by the third wave. Which will possibly be before anybody else on the team. This next wave is a pretty big one. So I should get a nice chunk of super energy from one ballistic slam if I aim it correctly. Yeah, I see a big group of them. We're going in. Didn't get it just under the amount that we needed. Enemy team has enough to invade though, so I'm gonna rush over to the bank and try to get this in so I don't lose any moats. The ambient super generation is gonna top me off. Don't see him in the middle, so he's gotta be to the left. Yeah, I think I see some machine gun fire. I kinda just don't wanna die, because he, he has a tremendous advantage because of the wall hacks, and these cabal are just shooting me in the butt right now. I'm just gonna kinda run. Because there's nothing I could really do to the invader. I didn't get eyes on him. Uh, again, he has that huge advantage because of the wall hacks. So I'll just take a more passive approach. Gonna have to use my ultimate on that guy. And then get slammed nearly off the map again. My gosh, the ballistic slam wasn't enough to take that guy out though, which is a bit unfortunate. That was the original plan. Another invader coming in. God, these ads are just, they're, they're whooping me right now. They're, they're giving me a, a bit of a struggle. Don't you dare try to kill me, sir. Don't know where the invader is. Saw him. He's got a sniper. Tagged him once. He might not peek again, so you know what? I'm just going to do the same and chill. Got seven moats. May as well not lose them. Oh, he's gone. Okay. All right, not bad. Trying very hard not to die because I do want to get the Killmonger medal. That's an easy one that I can get. But this hasn't been the best game so far. It's a, it's a bit of a struggle. Got more blockers coming in. Another invade is going to happen relatively soon. It's going to be rough. Yeah, here it comes. All right, we did get our Killmonger medal, so that that's nice. Wasted my Ballistic Slam there. I thought there was an enemy, didn't tag it. Get a nice kill with the loaded question. Clearing out a nice big group. Now there's a wanted enemy nearby. Oh. No, don't don't you dare slam. And I don't have enough ammo to make use of the reservoir burst, but fusion rifle still hits pretty hard regardless. Now I've got 15 motes. Don't know where the invader is. Okay, he's gone. That was perfect. So myself and my teammate right here, we both had 15. We were kind of watching each other's backs a little bit. I felt felt nice. Now the enemy team obviously has their, their prime evil up already. So that means we are probably going to lose. But if we hustle, if we get enough enough blockers on, on the field to, to harass them while we're clearing out this last wave, then we could make a comeback. And if I... Eliminate the majority of the wave with one attack. Did nothing die? Oh, no, a lot of stuff died. I made five orbs. Uh, yeah, if, if doing something like that, that could give us an edge. Somebody else can pick up those orbs, generate their super, go in and clear some stuff out. This guy's giving us a little bit of trouble. Getting a little bit of lag from all the stuff, and unfortunately, we're not even going to get most of these moats. Because that, that big old cabal was kind of blocking... I right, got another 10, and we do have enough to summon the Prime Evil, so we're, we're behind by about one rotation if we all bank right now, but there's always a little bit of hope. You gotta hold out hope. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can pull this one out. The cool thing about Ballistic Slam and the Envoys is that they always come out with a pair of enemies with them, so you can slam to break the shield, and then you can kill them with whatever whatever weapon you're using pretty quickly. There's the invader. Oh, he's in his Dawnblade. That's fine. Hashtag no counterplay. Alright, somebody got him with a fusion rifle. That's pretty nice. Good shot. All right, our first primeval stack. We're not going to do a lot of damage here, but that's totally okay. The first stack. It's very difficult to one phase on the, on the first stack. 
I'm sure it's doable, but we're just a group of random people. I have no power am heavy ammo, so it's probably, it's, probably, it's probably not gonna go that well. But we're still in the fight. So I'll go in, I'm gonna ballistic slam the second pack or the farther away pack, just so I don't accidentally mess up or my teammates kill them before my slam goes off or something like that. And the second pack is coming in, so I'm gonna hover and then get the slam, clear out the adds and break the shield nearly killed the envoy as well now i have i still have no heavy ammo yeah that's game over the enemy team is melting right this second i still have no heavy well actually i do have heavy ammo i got a, a, a single brick let's put up the rally barricade and i got some loaded question shots maybe i can do it let's go for it nice maximum overdrive for the win never say die that was a good one we didn't get the quest completion but that was a good match and even in a game mode that i dislike massively getting a win still feel, still feels pretty good it's a good thing our, our my teammates were doing some hefty damage because not having heavy ammo for the the first two rotations ca caused me to suffer a little bit in the in the damage department you know, a, a part of me thought that I would kind of warm up to Gambit a little bit after after playing it so much to try and get this bow. Because I, I completely skipped the season of the Drifter because I'm just not a fan of Gambit. And I got to tell you, I haven't warmed up to it at all. I still don't like it. All right. We've got our super. Let's look for a really big pack that we can eliminate with this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! 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 What? You know, the, the, the worst thing about these pinnacle quests is that they're they're obviously designed to be completed over the course of a season. You're meant to just play a little bit of Gambit on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, you know, come back next week and then play a little bit more. But when you condense that grind into three days, you literally lose your freaking mind in the worst way it's just it's it's not good i would not recommend trying to power through any of the pinnacle weapon grinds because it's just gross it's just gross it's not the most enjoyable way to engage with the game but you know what you kind of have to don't you because if 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 you really want something you can't just let it what am, I, what am I just gonna let the quest sit there uncompleted for weeks? No, that'd be stupid. Even if I wasn't a content creator and even if I didn't want to make videos about the bow, I'm not just gonna let the quest sit in my inventory for for three months and then complete it when I complete it. No, that's that's ridiculous. It's there, it must be done. Oh my god, it's done! It's freaking done, dude. Finally. So now all I have to do is end this match. I'm not going to leave because that'll be anticlimactic and we're winning by, by a ridiculous margin. But we're done. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're never coming back here again. Alright. We completed the quest. It's time to return to the drifter to collect our reward i also got an outlast with feeding frenzy and snapshot sights extended mag it's going straight in the trash we got an enhancement core nice okay we did it we did it ladies and gentlemen but mostly gentlemen we freaking did it our performance in that last game was respectable and i, f I feel good about that i feel i feel pretty good about it well we did it folks we did it I'm super happy. I'm also super tired from playing so much Gambit. Like I said, I'm going to go take a break. But when we come back, it's going to be very exciting because we're going to get to use the Hush. Not going to use it in Gambit, though. But it's going to be great in every other activity that we take it to. So 
If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support the channel more than you already do just by liking, subscribing, commenting, and of course watching, you can head over to patreon.com slash iblueairjgr to become a patron. There's plenty more Destiny 2 content coming. On the horizon, the season of opulence is looking very promising and it doesn't involve 100% gambit, so I'm excited about that. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.